Yo, what's up? Oh, wow. I'm back once again for the soccer review for 2009, November the 17th, 2009. Folks, we're not so far away from Christmas, aren't we? <laughs> well, I got some soccer news for all the footy fans around the world for soccer review for November the 17th. This is the one and only Mark Spencer, and I'm breaking this in. This is from this past week, this past weekend. It looks like the chosen one, the special one that uh, he's known by, Jose Mourinho, is has some interest in returning back to the Premier League, where he had most of his success. He's had a lot of success at Inter Milan. Won two back-to-back -back Scudettos, and never won any Cups, never won any Champions League, but... He's looking at uh, making another move back to the Premier League. According to this report, Mourinho is currently managing Italian club Inter Milan. Has sorely missed in England since his departed when he departed Stamford Bridge back in 2007. Okay. When they won two Carling Cups, FA Cup, two Premier League titles, did it all. Says here, his charisma and wit won him many admirers during his three year, three and a half years in the country. And in Italy, he has only built one reputation by winning the Serie A at the first attempt last season. Reports continue to link Mourinho with a possible, possible role at Manchester United when Sir Alex Ferguson finally retires. And the Portuguese has made it very clear that he feels England is the best environment for him and for him to try to illuminate that sort of achieving sustained excellence over an extended period at one club. Clearly, it's unrealistic to expect a team one player, one manager to stay with the team. So it, it, what it's saying here, basically, they're saying Jose Mourinho wants to go to Manchester United and be like Sir Alex Ferguson. Well, he kind of does remind you of Sir Alex Ferguson. Um, he has the potential. He has the, or I, what I would say, he has the motivation. And if I think if Mourinho puts his mind to it, folks, he can accomplish anything. Like anybody at us in this world. It just takes confidence. It takes belief. Sometimes people don't believe they have the ability to go out there and become something. But I know you all can. And I think Mourinho can too. Now he has to focus on Inter Milan. And try to get them to win the Champions League. Never mind their own league. Right now they're in a dogfight with Juventus, AC Milan, Sampdoria, and Palermo. So it's going to get interesting down the stretch. You can't rule out Lazio or Roma. They might be in the hunt later down the season. Look at Fiorentina right now. They're on fire. They look like they're going to do some damage in this Champions League, especially in the quarterfinals, coming up really soon. So we'll see what happens, folks. It's up in the air. Well, I got some bad news for Arsenal fans out there, the Gunner fans out in England. It looks like Robin Van Persie, the, big, the bad, bad news is he'll be out four to six weeks with a partially tear of, uh, I think it's in his foot, and uh, it won't require surgery. So I think Arsene Wenger is breathing a sigh of relief. And, you know, in a way, you know, you got to breathe a sigh of relief. Man, Arsenal has been playing awesome this season. They're playing team football. Great passing, great everything. And to lose their star and Robin Van Persie in a friendly you know, sometimes I question certain players that go to these friendlies. The game means nothing, but they just want to keep their spot on the team. So I understand that. But it's a risk for some of these teams to send some of those players to a friendly. And uh, now that's why I question friendlies. That's all I got to say for today, folks. Uh, well, it looks like tomorrow uh, the big uh, test will begin for France, Portugal, Ireland, Bosnia, Hurt, Slovenia. The playoffs uh, in Europe and uh, the same thing out in South America for Uruguay and Costa Rica. 
whoever wins tomorrow in those games probably will move on to the 2010 World Cup. And for all the teams that have already qualified for the 2010 World Cup, I just want to say congratulations. It's not easy to qualify for something that big, that huge. And that's what it's all about. So I just want to say so long, everyone, and thanks for watching.